high horse people, um, actually, and not only horse people, uh, Tanya was telling me that we've got like so many people who don't own horses who are enjoying our videos now uh, that we're putting out, and that's fantastic. And, you know, giving people something else to watch and just enjoy en enjoy watching them. So that, that's wonderful. So hi everybody, basically. Well, we've just got back. We've been up north uh, working some horses up there. We just got back, and there was a there was a uh, a horse that I went to see before I went away. A few days back now, I think about four or five days ago, uh, and this video is about that one. I thought I'll just do, get get this one done, which is, it's a really, really, really interesting video. Uh, I, 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 just a quick brief now before I start the video. It's uh, basically a, a horse that was, wasn't actually orphaned. The mother didn't die, uh, but it was as good as an orphan because the mother lost lost uh, most of its hoof and had to have box rest and couldn't really deal with the foal. So the horse was hand reared uh, early in its life, which, you know, can, they, they, they never know discipline. They never know, um, uh, you know, they never put, put right when they do things wrong and things like that by their mothers. Uh, so that's what this horse is. And basically it's a horse that's come come down from away a couple hundred miles came down the owner came down with the horse for parents for a while to see parents down here and uh, to go to the hopefully to the county show uh, which is down here at the same time so the horse is here it's never been good for loading it's not been the best for respect in the past obviously because of the hand rear and it's one of the things that go with it uh, and now it's stranded really because Although it wasn't good to load before, somehow they did it, and now it won't go in. And they they went. The owner took this horse for a, for a lesson, um, a pre-show lesson at some professionals, uh, people, and it would not go. He just said, "No, I'm not going in." And these people know what they're doing. They tried for hours, and it it wasn't happening. So the horse had to be ridden back because uh, they would have it would have been dark and whatever. So they rode it back. So I am going. Basically, this is not a training video to get the horse to learn how to trailer load because that would take a lot, with this particular horse would take a lot of work, uh, a lot of time, a lot of effort. So basically my brief is to get the, this horse going onto a trailer willingly so it can be shut up and get home. Uh, it's not going home till next week, uh, but that's what my brief is. Get this horse over that problem of not going in, it will not go in, you can't pull her in, you can't put lunge line around it, nothing will work. So that's my brief, get the horse willingly going in, leave it on a good note so that I can go up when the horse is going home and just be there and help uh, get the horse in and shut up and go. So I'll start the video now, uh, very interesting video. So, if you look there Tanya, we got, um, a trailer in issue here. Mm -hmm. Now it's been inherited, I believe, from from her mother. Uh, I worked with her mother. Oh my God! How many years ago was it? So, it's gotta be what? Well, Fifteen? Ten? Is well, it? Matty's eleven. Matty's so, uh, ten, ten, yeah. Ten years. Uh, so. Uh, must have been about fifteen years ago. Yeah, her, her mother um, was a fantastic show horse. and was difficult in certain ways, but fantastic in other ways, you know. Uh, one of the ones were, was you, she would not trailer. So I worked with that. It was one of the times I used to take a lot of horses in, uh, and I think I had her for two weeks, I think it was. Every day, six times a day, I'd load her and travel out a few times, and just, it really made a massive difference, and she could not be pulled in. She said, no, that's not happening, so I taught her to, to, to go in on her own, uh, of her own accord. Made it her idea, as we keep saying. So today, uh, I've come to meet her daughter. <laughs> uh, Can I just say something? Yeah. Are you keeping your trainers on or do you want to put your boots on? No, I'll keep them on because of my, it's yeah, better for my- Your ankle, okay, yeah. that's fine then, yeah. Uh, and we're not in the mud. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, sim sim similar, similar issues, um, you know, I'm pretty sure it's hereditary, like a lot of horses I deal with. Uh, they, they throw uh, a mother or, or a stallion will throw certain traits in all breeds really uh, so I've come today to 
we, we're in a situation where the horse has got to go back uh, to London way. Chepstow. 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 She, she won't go on to go home. She's been here a little while, uh, while visiting family, uh, been to a couple of shows. She loves Pembrokeshire, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. Uh, she she went somewhere the other day and it was a no and there were some professional professional people know what they're doing and it was still a no so we have an added problem she is now it's never really although it's took a long time to try to uh, you you know when she is in this mood of not going in or frightened uh, usually somehow it works it didn't work so she had to be hacked back uh, rather, you know, they didn't want to get on to her and do something. And it was getting dark. It was getting, getting dark. dark. Yeah. So she sat on that thought now. So she is convinced that that's exactly what she needed to do to survive the day. She's already frightened in there anyway, and doesn't set up. So we have got an added problem. Now I've just met her now, and um, she's in the stable. Now she's got a little quirk that when you go in the stable, if she thinks she's going to catch with the lead rope, she will not be easily caught and she will for sure turn a bum to you. So I'm gonna try and address that now without getting myself kicked. She doesn't kick. You don't think she kicks or she does kick? She does kick apparently. Okay, so, <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna be a bit, bit careful then. Right, okay, so basically I'm gonna go in and just see if I can get her to turn and face rather than think about kicking, okay? So she might get a little bit upset, but it'll all be part of this. With me, so I'm going to get my bottling again stick. Walking a bit better, walking a bit better. Okay, I do say this again in a minute, but I need to reiterate it again. I, I've been at this a very long time and I know the, the signs, uh, you know, and, and maybe I'll get caught out one day. Who knows? Touch on touch wood here. But you, I don't want anybody, please. Don't go into a stable with a horse turning their bum to you and, and start putting pressure on them the way I do. Uh, because honestly, it can be so dangerous. The horse is cornered. So don't get thinking, yeah, you know, I know how to do it now. Call someone who knows what they're doing rather than you get hurt or, or, or you know. So I'd just like to reiterate, you're seeing things. I'm showing things that a lot of trainers, a lot of horsemen won't show, you know. So just be careful. The last thing you want to do because if a horse fight or flight, if it is in a, if you do corner it and you put pressure on and you there's nowhere for it to go, a very good chance you could get double barreled really hard and uh, you know that that's not good. Okay, please don't do it. How big's her head? Has she got? Oh, no, she's she's not got, got a quite a small head. Yeah. She's got a cob sized bridle. Well, I'll count. All right then. So let's see what I've got. Uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. So, so what I did then, I put a little bit of pressure and I closed my eyes when she looked at me with two eyes, right? So, so then I put a bit of pressure, but as she started to come around with two eyes, did you see how I softened? Because I remember doing that yeah. before. That's why I try and do. <laughs> well, if I can put a seed in there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to her now, show how you can catch her, but just come away from her. Okay. The reason I've got my stick is just in case she turned a bum, and I could tell if she was gonna threaten. Usually they will switch the tails, and you know, you know. Um, so I'll, I'll, Sorry, I'll touch her again. And I was hoping she'd do that more for you, really. I was hoping she would turn a bit more. Yes. But do you see what I did? I put a bit of pressure. I lifted the stick, clucked, and put mental, physical pressure on her until she started to come around and not put a bum there. Yeah. Um, you have got to be careful. And everyone who watches this, don't get going in and trying to do this with horses you don't know. Um, because fight or flight, if they're confined, and you're putting pressure on, and they've already turned the bum, if you get it wrong, it's, it's your teeth are gone. Like, it's, it's, um, so. So, yeah. so we got them. So if you can uh, give me, I don't know which one really, uh, I'm gonna see if that'll fit. So 
Do you think she's better with men then? She is. <laughs> I mean, cause Dad, Do you really think that? Yeah, yeah. Well, who knows? Stranger things have happened. Like, Farrier's, she's always been perfect. Yeah. Wow. Um, I think she also, she knows if you're, she reads you a lot. So mm. if you're confident with her, yeah. she's fine. Right. And if you sort of, don't oh, take yeah. any nonsense. So, so if she, if she, but, yeah. but she, equally, you can't be. She had angry. a novice around yeah. her. She, she, she would take advantage. Lunch, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. just takes advantage. Wow. wow. She, she know, she's just ridiculously intelligent. And they are sometimes the best. Yeah. Aren't they? And, but the most equally, difficult the most the difficult best. to to cover around sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right, what I will do, I will just. I'm just going to move her around in, in her stable now. Um, Rain's coming again. Mm. Yeah. Good. Back off me a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. Stop. That's it. Now. Lower her head. I shed a sack mm -hmm. Oh, did okay. she? Okay, kiddo. I'm going to check her both eyes here just to make sure she's okay with me. Because she's feeling a little bit, who's this? Something's different. And I just want to see if she responds the same way. The reason being uh, about how I trailer her to do with where she'll be better, what side I should stand to suit yeah. her. Because remember, this is kind of like uh, making do because she's not at mine for a couple of weeks. So it's a little bit different. Uh, but we've got to get you home, haven't we? And I can work on stuff. Like yes, then. exactly. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can lower her head here. She had this done, probably not, no? Yeah. Right, Tanya. So I've done side to side, yeah. but not really. She can get very nervous, you say, with the, tr you know. She, she, she's just obviously scared. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to just work on um, lowering her head here. So she doesn't want to blow straight away. So I'm going to, again, uh, people have seen me do this a million times. I'm, I've got pressure, uh, a little pinch on her neck. Squeeze. A uh, squeeze. Um, I'm push, pushing down on the um, the halter and I'm going side to side. So she's got three things going on all at once and she's going to search in a minute. And as soon as she, the longer that takes to get her to drop her head, the better, because it will mean something. Because she'll have to search in a minute. So I'm going to just keep this going. Uh, as I say, the, the longer it takes, the better. She had a little try then. It was a very, very fake try. So there'll be a little gap in between. Um, so I'll do it again. There, there was like, I don't know. Mm. What I'm looking at is not her giving at the pole. I'm looking at the neckline dropping, okay? Because she's quite, you know, you don't see many horses with their heads low that are excited and worried, do you? <laughs> yeah? It's, it's kind of soothing for them um, to show them some peace. She's actually dropped quite a bit there. Um, so again, same thing, three, three releases. When she drops down, she's going up there, which is brilliant if she goes up because she's searching up, she's searched this way a little bit. She's searching, 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 searching. Searching, 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 searching. I think it relaxes her more than anything else. Lips going. Come on, girly. No, not up. See, she tried. She searched then. How can I get rid of this? Twice he's let me go, but I'm really not sure if it was because I dropped my head. So I'll just keep this going. And contrary to what most people would think, I love this when this happens because it me means so much when, when, when she starts to think about it, when she does make a try and drop. There. So I had a little try there. It, mi it was mixed in with a flex at the same time, which I didn't really want, but because she tried to find it. So again, right. so that's, she's starting to get, a thought now how she can get rid of those three pressures 
and she's leaving it down. So while it's down there, I'll probably leave it a minute. I'll probably leave it a minute, leave it a minute. And then when she lifts it back up, I'll, I'll, I'll ask again. Um, and what I'm actually doing here is trying to show her before we have the nightmare at the trailer, there's a bit of communication going on here, probably a little bit different than she's used to. Um, so, uh, I'll ask again. There. So you see how that's starting to work now. And I, she thinks it also means to the rope. It doesn't, but I'm taking what I can get at the moment and then would we'll, we'll work on that after. Okay, so, you know, at, at home you could work on dropping this head when you come in the stables and it might help things like this turning your bum yeah. because you might think it's not too much of a problem that it's everything, yeah. it's everything. So I would come in here, lower her head, give her a rub and walk back out, <laughs> put her feet in here. You don't want that bum thing, yeah. but if but she, she does, yeah, she's fine with me until I have a head collar in my hand, a head collar and knee drip in my hand. Anything else I can pretty much well, do. Well, but the minute she thinks you're trying to res restrain her in that sense. Well, I would then definitely so, take a head collar and move yeah, me. Yeah. Plus my little stick or whatever. And when she turns, then that stick goes up and yeah. there's a bit of pressure. Whether it be tapping your sides, whatever it is, pressure comes from all ways. But she can only have a release from it. But you've got to keep yourself safe. Yeah. You've got to keep your good looks. Right, is when she starts to think about giving you two eyes. Yeah. It's all about one eye pressure, the bum more pressure. Yeah. As she comes around to two eyes, shut your eyes for a split second, they notice it every time, a little shut, and back away a little bit. Tell her that's where the release is. There's a, it's a nightmare for her if she puts a bum to you. That needs to stop. Yeah. It really does, yeah? Okay, so now I've come this side like I just said. She seems absolutely fine on this side. So you've got quite a balanced horse. Her breathing hasn't changed. A lot of horses, when I go in a stable with them, and there's all something different happening, that they're wondering what's what. I come this side, the breathing changes, the head come up. So I know then I need to, in an emergency situation, trailer from the other side. All making sense to you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right then, so. Okay, so okay. We'll just go over to the trailer now. she stops for me now which she did she did beautiful and you're a pretty thing isn't she she's got a nice she's a pretty decent confirmation <laughs> right okay yeah i'm happy with that so, can you understand why I do need a bit of respect to space? Yeah, yeah. So she doesn't, when she gets scared, she could smash sideways at me to get to evade. Yeah. So in, if my ankle wasn't bad, I would have done like a lot of shoulder yielding. Yeah. So she even, but I can't do it because yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I've got to be really careful. Um, I'll do this up a little bit. Because yeah, we, ha we had a lot of issues when she was younger with, because she was sort of semi hand Yeah with personal space so i've done quite a bit of course of, she was hungry yeah, wasn't she yeah so i've I done remember going back so I've now try, i've spent quite a bit of time trying to get yeah, her to respect it's like me. orphans but it's not their fault yeah, but a little bit like an orphan yeah they can be the worst kind yeah. because they never they never had a mother yeah. to show them respect yeah. so she had the the mum there but the mum couldn't, couldn't do, do anything because yeah. she lost her hoof that yeah, was right yeah, she, Shed all of it. You know what, Tanya, do you remember something? Yeah. <laughs> it is horse related, yeah. <laughs> I just that. <laughs> okay, well, I wanted to just check how the breathing was around the trailer. Yeah, how bad? The reason I bumped her there, she thought she'd, she'd lose me a minute. Yeah. So I'm just saying no. When, when, when she drifts off, some. No, that was another request. Come on. Right. 
So she's looking in the trailer, thinking, oh, some. Right. So I'm just trying to keep her attention a little bit on me. And she's out here. Um, remember the high head? Well, once you get that really good about the low headedness, situations like this, you just play for 15 minutes lowering her head yeah. and making her comfortable. Right, her gaze went off then somewhere else, not that. Yeah? Uh, now, what we're going to do now, I just wanted to see how bad it was around the trailer. Quite happy with that. We're going to go back to the yard now. Now, that was unrequested forward motion, so I wanted to know that I control her feet. Yeah, so any of this unrequested into my space, I'm just bumping her back. That makes sense to you? Yeah. Now, all trailer loading is, is feet forward and straightness. I think she's learned to avoid sidewards with her bum. Uh, does she go sideways? She only does if there's someone else there. If it's just me, yes. then I make sure she's straight. straight. Yeah. It's usually if she goes in, she goes by platform. If somebody else, if she can see someone else and she thinks they're going to interfere, yeah. that's when she goes sideways. Right. So okay. I, generally, I don't have a problem with it going sideways if it's just me. Right, so good girl. What I'm going to work on now, just down by the garage doors there is forward movement of the feet, okay? Because we need her to know, she probably will be back enough to start with, but she needs an idea of my suggestion of these feet going forward. So now I'm happy with, you know, she's not blowing, her tail's not up in the air. Some horses they go to and they're going around like crazy. Yeah? So that's not there, so I'm just checking myself, right? Okay. Tanya might want to come this, this side. I want to be able to initiate forward movement with her feet. Okay? So I'm going to tap her, not on the rump, although there are times we need to tap the rump, but where I want to be able to tap her where your legs are for forward. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm going to tap her here, right? And I'm just going to tap with my stick right, and wait for her. Wait for her. Right, so, immediately she went forward then, she had a release on me. I need a cue. Stop. Give her a break. Okay. So I'm just going to, right. Do you see how she put her weight forward? Yeah. Okay, tell her how good she is. That she's not in trouble. Okay. So I'm just going to keep this boing in now until she's full. Tell her how good she is. The reason why I'm not clucking is the top's going to help it even more than I do. Yeah. Well, no, I, I want it without the cluck, then the cluck's going to make it a lot better. Okay. And my suggestion, I needed to have a kind of an idea that, that she gets rid of this. She can't be kicking out of it in there, which yeah. she might, yeah. but she's got to know its information first. Yeah. Okay. Whereas a lot of sticks to horses don't mean information, yeah. do they? Okay. So, okay. going to keep this going and the reason I'm keeping this going is because I want it to, like, to, to, to not have to tap then I'm going to add the suggestion and the clapping right so that took what? How many releases was that? Half a dozen. Six, yeah. mm. So now, 
I'm going to give her a break because that is what I wanted. It almost became her idea to, to move forward. It was, feels a bit different to your leg and that. She wasn't sure why was this happening now. Now there's kind of something there for her to, to move forward. So now I'm going to add all three, okay, which is what I'll do in the trainer. So, right, so you see how that's even the suggestion now of this going there with the clutch. We've got, we've got that, that. Off me. All right, you see how I'm being particular about my space? So I'm using that by coming up. Say so, yeah. Okay, so, okay. Right, so now we're going to go up to the trailer. Every step she's taken, there's a release for her. So every try, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah. Every single try. Uh, what's just about to happen now is I totally expected it. I get an awful lot. Uh, basically, um, this mare uh, has learnt to avoid going in uh, the stable two ways. One is is pull back, which it's it's realised because people have tried to pull it in. It realised how strong it is. It sets its hind quarters, pushes back with the front, and you just got no chance. So it knows it can avoid like that. And the other way it can avoid is by going. Sideways, it'll go one side and then the other, and then without straightness, the horse can't load. So like I've said a million times, it's uh, all, trailer loading is straightness and feet forward, okay? Uh, and not backing up. So so that's that's what trailer loading is. So I expected what's about to happen now. Now the most important thing is that there, there is no, the, 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 the more she does it, it doesn't matter. I just keep on uh, trying to make her find the right decision where I just leave her alone. So you'll see that now. She she is convinced that's what she should do. It's a real strange for her because uh, she has to search and she gets quite annoyed. Um, uh, you know, she she can get quite annoyed. Apparently, she's one of those that you know uh, gets very annoyed um, and impatient. Uh, but I just out 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 patience her uh, and don't get emotional about it at all. And uh, you'll see how that all works for me now. know that that's not how she avoids. She can pick out as much as she wants. And you can try that side. And the place she gets to a release is not there. It's when she's straight and tries. the release. 
pieces. She's on the rope. So we'll get her off that. So the more, the more that happens, the better. I don't think she can physically stretch any more, can she? <laughs>
So finally, um, I knew it would happen. I believed it would happen. Um, that's half of the success, I think, just knowing, uh, having the knowledge to know that eventually uh, it would happen. Uh, if it didn't happen, then you finish on a forward step and then you start over, you know, you give them a break and start over after several hours or even in the morning. But I knew, I knew that that was coming there. She had no option. She couldn't go sideways because it wasn't paying, do, it was, there was no benefit to her. She couldn't stretch no more. Um, if she, you know, so she could only go forward. So, um, that, that, that she went in, it was pretty much of her own accord. She sort of said, oh, all right, you know, it was kind of her idea. So that was the first training. Now, often when that first, first acceptance and, uh, and willingly uh, going in a trailer, the job's not done, but it's very, very easy. Now with her, it's a little bit different. You'll see how she, she, she's not, <laughs> she's, she kind of said, no, you've had that once, uh, we, we, we'll, we'll perform again now. So very interesting, again, working through. Um, and she, they say from breakdown comes breakthrough. So in a way, it might be better that, that they don't just do it, that they search again and, and you kind of um, make it clearer, like black and white, that, that really it is the best option for them is to keep going. So the more breakdowns, the more breakthroughs you have, you end up with a constant breakthrough. So have a little look at this. to know she can she can uh
She's there for me, the better, because I'm getting over that, yeah. and she's having to listen yeah, and yeah. come in. Yeah. That makes absolute yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So I want her to, to back off me here and calm down before I put her away. Come on, back off. She's loosened about. Can you see the change in her just there? Yeah, yeah. Because I was firm with her and said no, that was unrequested forward motion. Just chill. There. See the look? All right, isn't it? I'm not going to waste anything I'm doing, so I'm going to ask her to trail a load in there. Okay. So you think about what I'm saying? She's going to trail a load in there. See? Yeah. So everything is forward and straight. Yeah. So I would practice. So at the moment, she didn't know what, when I'm looking at iron quarters, she didn't know it was information to move over. Yeah, yeah. She's starting to get that now. Yeah. But... I would be practicing that. Yeah. They're, they're, it's information to the feet. They don't kick out once they know it's information. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, what I'll do, I'm just going to tie this around her. And then we'll just see Tanya if we can lower her head a little bit. Yeah. Before I leave, I'm going to. It's important for us to have a little break now. Yeah. She finished off not blasting out. Yeah. Okay. So, there. You see how quickly this is happening now. Look. Look at that. You know? <laughs> I only thought it then. <laughs> right, so we'll leave her just to think about that. And the way this stick works, it's not hurting them because there's a boing to it. So you tap, it's not like a whipping. I can, that's the fastest I can do that. Yeah. Because of the weight. If you try that, you don't have to film it. I'm not. I'm just hovering around. So we've got a break. Thank 
Watch them push the rope and take that slow. Slowly. Look at the run. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, a few more feet in there now. I think we've run out of time. Yeah. Requested, so I'm just going to bump on and look at. She has to listen to me. Her feet need. I, I need to move her feet. She can never ever move mine. So this will be the tra trailer loading now. There's the trailer. So I wouldn't wait. There's the hind quarters. There's the backup. Yeah. We've got our own backup because she kind of owns that herself. Backing up all the time. Break. If I do say so myself, was perfectly timed, just the right time. I just felt it was right. We'll give her a little break and uh, straight in. Calm down nicely. Was respecting me. Now, if you notice, it's so important that, that how a horse leaves a situation how it enters it. I always say that with the round penning I do. It's more important to me how a horse leaves me uh, in, a, in in a good manner and in a good attitude. How it leaves me more than how it comes to me. Uh, so the same with trailer loading, how they leave the trailer means more than how they've entered it really. It's nice to have both and eventually you do have both. So you'll see now I'm really starting to feel like I'm getting somewhere now. And to be honest with you, I should have said, that's it. Uh, a couple of more trailer loadings, come out with a good attitude. Really speaking, my brief was done. I know that, or I'm pretty sure that I could have gone next week when the horse has got to go home. And it, it, the last thing the horse does is the first thing it learns. It would have had that to soak on. Um, so, you know, I should have finished there. I, I, I didn't, and you'll see uh, how my timing was off really to keep going, uh, but you'll see that now. Um, Yeah, yeah. So, right. the, the lead was um, dangling and 
I was trying to okay. stop myself tripping over. Just go instead, Angel. Mm, it happens. Um, Should have left it. I didn't. So we got. Uh, I wanted the owner to to experience taking the horse in and bringing it out slowly. So that in the meantime, me going up north uh, and not being able to go back until uh, the horse is ready to leave for home for me to do sort of the loading with with her. I thought it'd be a good idea. Um, because I know she's chomping at the bit to be able to do, to do. Now I've got the horse over going in. That kind of is broke a little bit uh, uh, for 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 the owner to feed the horse in there, keep taking it in there. Uh, uh, but it went a little bit, a little bit pear there. Uh, the, the horse decided it got a little bit upset. Now it's quite evident there when when she got a little bit upset. The owner did mention how intelligent that horse is, and she is smart. She looks at you in a bit of a weird way. She is smart. A lot of the smartest horses can be the most difficult. Uh, and now, as soon as I pass the lead rope over, you've got to remember the last time a trailer was involved with the owner, there was all the nightmare of those hours trying to get the horse in. Immediately, like like a switch, handed over, that was it, that uh, as soon as I pass the lead rope over, things go a little bit astray. It so shows how smart these horses are, how, how, how their perception, they know who everyone is handling them. Um, so that's interesting for everyone to see, and we'll see how we get on that.
Now, to get back to the point where uh, uh, the horse was going in okay again and things were, were, were settling down, it took a little while, it would be too long. Basically, the horse kept going through, rushing a little bit, kept backing out a little bit. So I just worked on, on that until the breakthrough came and things got a lot better. One thing I didn't mention earlier, what we did, we set up a like a, a bucket with some carrots and apples in, but we only put it, we put it high up and at the front of the trailer. So when she decided to stand for a minute, she'd have a little nibble of the carrots and that, and then she'd come out. So there was kind of an added benefit. And I did say to the owner, if you're gonna practice, give her some munches in there. But if she's panicking or whatever, or rushing through, she doesn't have it. But when she decides to stand and he's okay, obviously she's gotta keep herself safe because the horse does have a habit of rushing out. Then let her enjoy, enjoy, enjoy her, uh, her, 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 her grain or whatever, and a little bit of nice things like carrots and whatever. So that, that was that. Now, I'm gonna explain now, there's another little sting in the tail here, and I can understand it, and I'm gonna explain that now. So we're all wrapped up, finished. I was really pleased where I got, because remember, I didn't have much room to work, and she was a very, you know, she I had to use a lot of different little methods to get that done. Obviously, I've got my little, little rubbishy ankle still at the moment, but it is getting better, which is a great thing. Um, but all's done and then it's explained to me that there's a big, one of the, the, the main reason that the horse came down to Pembrokeshire, because that horse you were seeing there, I can't remember, rubbish with names, can't remember the name again, but that, that mare is a brilliant show horse and there's what's called the Pembrokeshire County Show. And because the owner lived here all those years, it's a big thing for the, for the, 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 the she's a, the family have got a history of being fantastic showing people in the county, very involved in the horse world down here, very respected. And she came down all this way to go to the county show. And she'd gone off to have that training session with the professional people uh, and all that was going great. So chances are she could clean up at that show, which is fantastic. It's a big show and it puts value on horses if you have foals and there's all sorts of reasons and the kudos from it as well. Well, what was actually happening was, uh, we are now Thursday, so I think it was yesterday, which is the Wednesday, the horse was supposed to go to the show. And uh, the owner said, look, we really wanna go. And I said, well, uh, I don't know, I'm not here, am I? And, and I said, look, it's up to you if you can do it. And I think ultimately they could have rode the horse there because it's not that far, it's within sort of eight miles. Um, so I, I went away just hoping that that the horse wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't attempt to trailer the horse there in case something went wrong because then I've got a big job, an even bigger job on when I come back to help load it for home. Uh, and in, in the end, they might not need me for that. You know, they're gonna ring me if they do, then I can r rush down there, hopefully if I'm there. Uh, so uh, that was that. Now I've had a message. Uh, I'm gonna re read uh, the message to you uh, to explain what actually happened in the end. So remember, I, I, a few times when I was away, I thought, well, I wonder how that went, you know. <laughs> um, so I'll read that now. Okay, slight change of plan now. Uh, Tanya's gonna read a couple of messages that we've received um, and I'll just sit here and be a bit smug, probably. <laughs> okay, go on then, Babs. Okay, hi Steve. Thank you so much for yesterday. Loading went amazing this morning. Did some groundwork with her first in the stable and then on the yard. She then walked really calmly into the trailer, didn't try and burst past me once or back out and walked out slowly. I did that about 10 times and then put her away. I then did it another five times and finished up with her standing there to eat while eat her breakfast. Awesome. She was like a totally different horse. <laughs> I am so grateful for your help. Thank you. That's one one message. Yeah. Uh, which is great. Um, the next one was we had another one, didn't we? We did. Uh... Also, can I please let you know that I decided not to take Maddie to the show. When we tried to close the box, she panicked and reversed out and then she wouldn't walk back in. So I did groundwork with her. 
Brilliant. The one that you said made her uncomfortable outside the trailer. I got her going back in and by the end of it, she was taking herself in and calmly munching her feed inside the trailer again. Fantastic. Think it would just take a bit more time for her to be comfortable with being enclosed, but really pleased with the finished on a good note. And I didn't yeah, take yeah. it to the show. Well, that's great news uh, for me. Now, um, it's where you finish. So um, the owner really has is, is got that. Now, the job isn't finished. What um, I think is going to happen now is uh, she'll be going in and out of that trailer till next week, till she goes for home. So she'll be going in and out fine, I'm sure of it, and relaxing a little bit more. Then we have to let her down a little bit um, <clears throat> because I'll go and we'll have to shut her in. Now, when she's home, the work starts. The horse will have to be constantly put in and out of that trailer again fed in there made comfortable have little journeys and hopefully i mean she's a very claustrophobic very w um, highly strong willed horse but i think uh, that, that 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 the horse will end up being a lot better traveler and uh, the owner will have more tools to be able to deal with it when and it will happen where things will go a little bit pair again but at least there's a bit of foundation there coming so that's it that i hope you enjoyed that video it was uh, uh i hope there was a bit of learning done and it was a little bit entertaining as well so until next time hope you enjoyed that thank you very much